Whereas the Batwa and Bundibuja have been struggling to adapt to new ways of life ever since they were evicted from Semeliki National Park, where they had lived for many generations as hunter gatherers in the forest. As the Batwa struggled to get accustomed to their new way of life, educating their children is one area they still seem to have very little consideration for. <laughs> Our Lady of Annunciation Pre and Primary School is a small school located in Bugomba Parish, Busaru Sub County, Bundibuja District. The school, which has a population of about 150 pupils in kindergarten and junior primary, was started a few years ago by Sister Mary Angelica Tumwesje with the aim of giving an education to the children of the marginalized Batwa people of Bundibujo. Sister Mary Angelica Tumwesje, a Catholic nun attached to Bugomba Parish, started the school from scratch and she has gone on to collect all the children in the Batwa community and enroll them in school. I had some people like a catechist in Bale, Vicent, who supported me. He started off teaching them the faith and we tried the nursery in the community but since I didn't have funds and also since the, the, the community is, is just like a, a camp, I could not manage. Although the school is going ahead to provide education to over 50 Batwa children, they still face several challenges, which include a shortage of classrooms and dilapidated structures. The school's only building is a three-room block, which was being used in the 1970s to teach catechism. It is currently being used by pupils in pre-primary and up to primary too as a classroom. <laughs> The people who have the luxury of studying in the only school building have to make do without seats and desks while attending classes. <laughs> the pupils who are attending the upper primary classes are the ones who have the opportunity of sitting on the few desks the school has that they have to attend their classes in wooden ramshackled structures. According to Sister to Message, it's extremely difficult to sustain the school since it only depends on donations and nothing else. Even here, it was very difficult to maintain them because they were used to that kind of street life. So they could run back, I go for them, I bring. Feeding is a problem. So I go begging food. Then also school fees, teachers need, teach, need payment. So, it has been a challenge. You find the teachers have nothing. The Batwa pupils sleep in two former parish offices, which are in a sorry state. The children here come with nothing from home, including beddings, and the school also doesn't have any beds. The parish priest of Bugomba Catholic Parish reveals that the Catholic Church has been doing its best to assist the Batwa people, but it has not been an easy task. We've been, we made them part of us, and now that the uh, other people are uh, trying to catch up with the, the current trends of education, social life and other things. We usually try to bring them on board and even when we have uh, celebrations here at the parish, uh, they have a king, we usually bring them to celebrate with us as a way of uh, also feeling with them. She says that they have plans of one day constructing a big and better school since the church here has enough land. The Bundibuja district leadership, on the other hand, are pleased with the efforts of Sister Tumwesje in educating the Batwa, but they say that she will need a lot of help from many people if she is to achieve more. And of course, as a district, we are supporting them. But the biggest challenge is, one, that the families don't have land where they come from, where these children come from. She's getting a challenge of feeding these children because they are not, they are not within their homes, they are away from their homes. And also, scholastic materials. It's a challenge because as, a, as an individual, she, she can't really afford to, to, to take care of about more than 50 children. It is in the afternoon and we have decided to come to Ntandi, located in Bundibujo district, where we know that the Batwa stay. This place has at least 24 Batwa families and they all occupy these mad houses that you are seeing right now. Even this afternoon, as we have come here, we have also realized the children are still here playing around and many of these have been stopped from going to school by their parents. Sister Tumwesi hasn't given up on her dream of every Mutra child attending school and she continuously rounds up all the children who are at home to take them to school. Suhel Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition.